Fest 2014 and we're at EMAG booth N6846 with EMAG LLC's President and CEO Peter Letzner. Peter, tell us a bit about what's going on at the show today. Well, here at the show, we use the IMTS traditionally to uh, launch a new product. And this year we have an exciting new uh, machine with us. Behind us is the VLC 200H, which is a world premiere. It is a self-loading harbing machine geared to um, the transmission market for manual transmission, double clutch transmissions, as well as automatic transmission components. That's great. And can you tell us a little about what are the benefits of this new machine? The benefits of, of this machine is the compact design and the self-loading mechanism, uh, mechanism that has significantly less moving parts. In our machine, actually the machining spindle travels outside of the machine, picks up the part from a uh, conveyor system, brings it back in, in the uh, machining area and starts the machining inside. Significantly less cost, um, easier to maintain and great machining performance. That's great. And can you tell us a little bit about the other machines that we've got exhibiting today? Yeah, we brought pretty much what we have to round up the market in the uh, transmission world. We have a VL2 uh, machine for the basic, we call it OP10, OP20 machining, uh, the pre-machining before hopping. And we also brought a shaft machine with us, the VT24. It's a self-loading, four-axis uh, turning machine for shaft components for transmission parts as well as for camshaft and other shaft type components. That's great Peter. And can you tell us a little bit more about the non-transmission parts on the VT24? Yeah, on the VT24 we also developed the market on the camshaft side of the business. The camshaft, um, I call it, becomes more intelligent and the market is moving away from the traditional casting and grinding operation. It's an assembled camshaft today with multiple lobes, with zero lobes, and those lobes need to be machined and assembled. And in order to provide now a shaft um, that becomes a camshaft at the end, uh, you can use this kind of machine for all the pre precision machining and the finishing of the camshaft in order to, um, to have this new product available. Wonderful. And I see you have some oil field technology machines here today. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, that is that is very true. On the oil field side is a significant large market for us in the United States. We built in a separate plant in Europe pipe threaders for the oil field. And um, the oil field has become more and more complex. You have um, drill pipes that go on the ground, you have casing that go on the ground, and you have tubing that pumps the oil out of the ground. And these uh, parts, round traditionally, need to be threaded and machined, and we developed a complete product line uh, to serve that market. This market has done very well for us, and we have a machine here to, to demonstrate our capabilities um, to, to support the oil field industry in the United States. That's really exciting. Um, what other technologies are you most excited about that uh, EMAG LLC is rolling out at IMTS? Uh, we, we also have a demonstration about our laser hardening process. The laser hardening is also something that ties in to the camshaft uh, technology where you have a specific laser control system that allows the load being hardened in a non-quenching process. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that's efficient for the user? The efficiency for the user is he has le less uh, machinery to operate and maintain. Uh, the laser is a very clean uh, system. Uh, the, the setup is, is rather small, easier to maintain, high flexibility. As you know, a lot of engines are, have a similar block design and have uh, a different horsepower and performance due to the, the, the technologies in the cylinder head. And the main driver in the cylinder head is the camshaft. So there's a large variation in camshafts and you can address these all in the same machine and you don't need a changeover for that. That's great. And then for a final overview, what are you most looking forward to in terms of future technology and then future here at IMTS? <laughs> We, of course, um, see two trends. There is a lot of uh, adaptive uh, machining um, out there that we also uh, consider to, to, um, to look at. And uh, we, are, we are also working on a EMAC app. Uh, a lot of the operators and, and the young people, they carry their uh, cell phones with them. And um, we want to appeal a little more to uh, these people um, in order to use their smartphones to access repair manuals 
um, um, machining data, setup data. So we see that market moving away from the uh, dedicated controls to a more flexible environment where, where small uh, smartphones uh, are becoming a major player. That's great. Thank you so much, Peter. I'm Natalie, we're at IMTS 2014, and we're with EMAG's LLC's President and CEO, Peter Letzner. Thank you so much, Peter. You're welcome. Thanks for having me.